Okay, so now I'm over here by the other custom home lots that are just north of the golf course. So, I'll take you through over here. So, the direction I'm facing here is right towards the, the Highlands the gated community. actually a bridge that goes over into this part and then would need access right only people that have residents would be able to get into the gated part it really need, need to come all the way over here but I'm going to spin around and go back so it just gives a good idea of how this is laid out over here by the mountain. Mountains. The Verado Highlands is this way. Custom home sites. And then right after uh, the custom home sites, heading south towards I-10 would be the golf course. And then there is proposed future uh, a gated area that's going to be up here as well. I'm just going to go up Sage Hill. Some of these lots are sold right there just waiting has the, the buyer's name on it for the builder to build their custom home. This is uh, this is a long process, and I just gotta say from my own experience, I think that the builders are the builders are getting all the money up front. So I don't think there's like a deal, right? I think that you might pay for. $100 a square foot plus the cost of the lot and I wouldn't expect that once the home is built you'd have maybe much equity but you'd have the home that you'd want hopefully in the lot that you'd want but there's plenty of home sites up here you know a lot of the, a lot of these home sites were purchased initially by would-be investors that lost their shirt. And over the last, say, five years, people have uh, scooped those lots up from those people. But these are great home sites. It's dark up here. If that's, that's obviously important to you. that nice single level home okay and so here is the end of the road right and so I believe what he was uh, the gentleman at the welcome center what he was talking about is future having a gated community that starts here that's years out it's not in stone uh, but the land is here and that's, that's what's gonna happen there's plenty of build out before that happens. So, let's see, I haven't really seen any street lights. There's a couple coming up here. Gives you an idea of how dark it would be up here. There's, gonna, there's two lights here because there's a little circle that you gotta go around. And here's the driving range practice facility at the Founders 
golf club. Let's see if I can zoom in. And then the golf course is over there. I really dig this side though. And I was one of the first residents up here in, not one of the first, but I was in the first phase of, of buyers up here in uh, Verado. I lived and I had a, uh, had a couple homes here. The semi-custom home was a T.W. Lewis. T.W. Lewis was the protege to David Weekly. And when T.W. Lewis retired, David Weekly started his company. And so he's definitely the premier semi-custom builder. And, and also to mention, you know, th there's plenty of dark places within seems to me, I'm assuming, but it seems to me that you're looking for maybe a brand new home. That's my impression. But here's the Founders Golf Course with the grill. If we would make a left here, we would get to the Main Street, which has a uh, Bar and Grill, a pizzeria, a taco shop, a Bashes, a CVS, a coffee shop. And then these lots here are also custom lots. And behind them is the first hole at the Founders. And then I'm gonna make a right up here and go up Lost Creek so you can see the other portion of the custom area. Some of the homes over here are just so big. they're not custom but starting from here up they're all custom so granite ridge is all custom these are all custom home sites that's just gaudy big somebody across the street views got That's the potential, unless you're back to the back of the community, right? Where you're right up against the mountains. But there are plenty of lots here that are available. Great ones. It's just a matter of, and now this goes right into the parking lot to where the trails are. So I'll just spin around. This is the 14th. That's the 15th hole. Or is it the 15th and the 16th? When I'm 
I'm in a golf cart, I have a better idea. <laughs> These homes up here are going to go for two million, million eight to three, three million. Some of them that are elevated and stand on some incredible views. Like, see if I can find the, the one is about four million. It's been on the market for a couple years. Lot 208, 21612 Buckhorn. That would be on the golf course and have golf course views and mountain views. All right, so I think this is giving you a good idea. And once again, I will be in touch.